Hi, uh, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar, www.lightharvestsolar.com. Uh, so today I'm going to do a little video on why we need to balance lithium batteries. Very important. Uh, generally a battery management system is how we accomplish this, but I just wanted to explain the theory behind it. So, one, two, three, four cells here. These four cells are wired in series to essentially make what's equivalent to a 12 volt bank. Um, what you need to make sure you do is keep every single one of these cells the same voltage and balanced. So let me show you why we need to do that. So first off, we want to make the math easy. So we're going to use numbers that are not particularly accurate, but they're easy. So we want a 12 volt battery total. So essentially four cells, we're going to see three volts plus three volts plus three volts plus three volts. Okay, so we've got uh, 12 volts. Let's just say that if 12 volts, if our battery is to go over 12 volts or any of these individual cells goes over three volts, let's just say that's a really, really bad thing, which it can be. So what happens with these uh, battery cells over time is when you discharge them and charge them, they'll become out of balance. And let's use a little bit of an extreme circumstance. And let's say this goes down to two volts. So I'm gonna use black here to basically say it's not the end of the world but it's not really good either on this cell. But what has happened is that my charger uh, is going to read 12 volts. Um, and it's gonna turn off when it says, oh, my battery's at 12 volts, let's turn it off. So this is gonna have to cumulatively equal 12 volts in order for that to turn off. In order for that to happen, we're gonna be getting ourselves in a bad situation, which means 3.33 volts here, 3.33 volts here, 3.33 here, which is essentially going to equal 12 volts. Okay, so, uh-oh, since this is, my, my charger is gonna turn off at 12 volts, this one went down, oh, bad shape, bad shape, bad shape. We've gone over. And let's, so if any of these, and like I said, again, if any of these four go over three volts, let's just assume that's really, really bad. Now, let's assume even more that this goes down another volt, okay? So again, the charge controller has to read 12 volts in order to turn off, you're going to go to 3.66 volts, one volt, 3.66 and 3.66 equals 12. Uh, now we're in a, a, a quite a horrible situation um, because the charge controller isn't going to turn off till we put 12 all the way around and we're way over, way under, way over, way over. And this gets into a dangerous situation. So this is what we absolutely have to prevent. In order to prevent that happening, um, basically battery control, batter, you put a battery management system. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but essentially there's a charger that does three volts, a charger that does three volts, a charger that does three volts, a charger that does three volts. We have a BMS, battery management system, and it's going to go to cell one, cell two, cell three, cell four, and basically make sure they all stay at 12 volts. Some of them discharge this if it's higher. Some of them charge this if it's lower. But whatever they have to do through, through either charging or discharging individual cells, okay, you, um, they will stay at three volts each. So you don't get this over voltage or here a severe over voltage because this is where it starts to get dangerous. Um, and you know, the batteries explode or whatever, the fires happen, the pouches swell. Um, that's what we want to avoid and need to avoid. 
So that's what a battery management system is. That's why we need to keep these cells balanced to avoid this situation right here, because that's not good. Again, Miles, Light Harvest Solar, www.lightharvestsolar.com. Thank you. Bye.